Hey everybody, this is John with TPF Trips, places and fun where we bring you cruise news, travel news, vacation news, Branson, Missouri news. And we're gonna talk today about a report that just came out, the top 10 trending destinations in the United States for 2022, uh, brought to you by TripAdvisor. And hey, guess what? Branson, Missouri is on the list. All right, so hey, tonight, Amy is hanging out with her gal pals, uh, eating some Mexican food, and so you all have me, and I thought I would take some time. I had nothing to do tonight. I'm all caught up, believe it or not, with uh, everything that I need to do, and so how about I connect with you all? Let's talk about the top 10 trending destinations uh, for 2022 in the United States of America, and we're gonna go through this list real quick, but then I'm gonna focus on, of course, Branson, Missouri, which is where our home base is, and we do a lot of videos about Branson, but we are branching out. And so a lot of you have been picking up on this trend uh, uh, over the last few videos. We've been talking about this. Uh, we are still focused um, on Branson, but we're going to be focused also on different uh, uh, destinations and cruising and breaking news and things like that. And so I thought I would bring this to you. This just came out. Uh, hey, before we get into the top 10 for the United States, let's just, let's fly through this list of top 10 trending destinations for the world uh, in 2022. And here, let's play this game. Have you ever uh, visited any of these places in the world or when we get to the next list, any of these places in the United States? Uh, I want to hear your feedback leave some comments down below should amy and i visit any of these places and why why do you think that a tpf trip would be warranted all right number 10 santorini greece i've always wanted to go to greece uh it seems to be quite in a, a remarkable place let's see here I'm, I'm gonna misspell or mispronounce some of these jerome turkey that's number nine Number eight, Arusha, Tanzania. Uh, let's see here. We've got N Natal, Brazil. Abiza, Spain. Oh boy, here we go. Dubron, let's see, Dubron, Dubrovnik. There we go. Dubrovnik, Croatia. Tula, Mexico. Rhodes, Greece. Cairo, Egypt. Of course you want to visit Egypt. And Med. Majorca, Spain, that's number one. So I went from number 10 to number one. Majorca, Spain, I've never actually even heard of that. Uh, have you ever been there and why would we go there? Uh, it's the number one trending destination for the world in 2022. All right, let's jump into the trending destination here. Uh, for, oh, hey, you can see right here, this is my last video. It's my Photoshop, I've got it up here. Uh, have you seen this one? It just came out today. Uh, Branson, what's fun for young kids? Because I'm always getting this question, uh, you know, what is there to do for young kids in Branson? And uh, I usually close all these windows so you can see my escape code advertisement right there. Do you like that? Um, but uh, yeah, uh, Branson, Silver Dollar City in different places, uh, amazing uh, to visit uh, if you have young kiddos. And so check out that video. That is uh, ready to go and you can watch it right now. But let's look at these Let's look at these trending destinations in the United States. Have you ever been there? Uh, number 10, Asheville, North Carolina. Uh, we have been there and enjoyed our time. Naples, Florida. I do not believe I've ever been to Naples. Uh, let's see, what's the Tal Talquinta? No, Talquitna, Alaska. I've been to Alaska and Alaska is off the charts. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, incredible, incredible. My mom actually lived there many years ago, uh, but I, I visited there. I didn't cruise there, just uh, visited. And man, the mountains and the, the wildlife and the moose and the, it's just, I just can't, the glacier, boy, I just can't, can't explain it. But I've never, never, I don't think I've been, I've been there. I, w I was in Anchorage. Um, so uh, yeah, then maybe we'll have to visit Talkeetna, Alaska. Uh, number seven, Mount Desert Island, Maine. Now, uh, uh, a trip up the East Coast, I think would be really fun. I've wanted to do maybe like a, like a cruise up the East Coast or something like that. Uh, let's see, how about Clearwater, Florida? I don't know that I've been to Clearwater. Uh, heard all about it, but I've never been there. Fort Myers Beach, Florida. 
Uh, Moab, Utah. Now, where is Moab? Is that a kind of a ski area? I don't know. I don't know where that is. Uh, Amy took me to Salt Lake City a few years ago uh, to go to something called Evermore. And you can see a video uh, on Evermore. It, there's no place like it. It's it's this this fantasy land with live actors. And oh my goodness, it was amazing. And so uh, we were in Utah for that. But I, I don't know where Moab is. And then here we go. Number three, we're going to talk about this in a moment. Branson, Missouri. There you go, hometown. Uh, number two, Charleston, South Carolina. We went there recently and there's videos from Charleston. You can check those out. And then the island of, of Hawaii in Hawaii. Uh, we have not been there. We did go to uh, Maui, which I mean, stunningly beautiful, but have not been to the island of Hawaii. And so there's your top 10. Let's talk about number three, which is Branson, Missouri. How cool is that? That Branson is on this list. And, uh, you know, I can think of a lot of different places, you know, that that maybe would come to mind, you know, where do you want a vacation? You know, I think, well, I, you know, I love Orlando and uh, I love, uh, you know, of course, Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge just got back from there, uh, you know, and a lot of a lot of different places, maybe some of the national parks. But uh, a lot of these on the top 10 list, you know, I didn't I didn't think about. And uh, Branson, though, you've got to think about Branson. It is one of the it's always for many years. It's been one of the top vacation destinations in the entire United States, no place like it. And so I, I know I know there were people out there that haven't even considered vacationing in Branson. And I want to encourage you, strongly encourage you to visit Branson. There's no place like Branson, Missouri. Uh, it's great for the entire family. You'll have, I mean, a blast is putting it mildly. You know, so you think about things like Silver Dollar City. You know, uh, time to time people come to Branson and they don't go to Silver Dollar City. And, and I understand there are reasons for that. Um, but I think sometimes they just don't understand that Silver Dollar City is the epitome of the Branson experience. Um, in my opinion, it doesn't make any sense to visit here uh, without visiting Silver Dollar City. You know, of course, we live five minutes away and we go there many times a week, usually when it's open. Uh, but man, it's just world class, you know, coasters and shows and no place like it. I mean, it's uh, it's always in the top five, sometimes the number one uh, rated theme park in the nation. And just incredible. So, so you've got Silver Dollar City. Think about like Sight and Sound Theater. Look all this stuff up. You know, just just you know, Google it. Look it up. Go go to YouTube uh, and and you know, well, you're on YouTube right now. But after this video, not yet, not yet. After this video, check out some other videos from these places, and you'll you'll just be blown away. I mean, and of course, we have tons of Silver Dollar City videos. We have a video from uh, Sight and Sound Theater. That place is. I can't even put it into words. It is way better than Broadway. I mean, it'll blow your mind. This massive, massive, multi, multi-million dollar theater, you know, and uh, uh, just, just it's stunning. And then the show, uh, right now the show is Jesus, and they've got this $1.3 million video screen uh, that's behind the, uh, you know, behind the stage, and then the stage moves uh, in sync with what's happening on the screen, and uh, the, the writing and the, the, you know, the script is incredible, actors are incredible. Boy, oh boy, you know, sight and sound theater, no matter what production is on there, you know, we've seen Jesus and Moses and uh, Samson and and uh, Jonah, uh, uh, Noah, and wow, I mean, the, the, the set wraps all the way around you and it's massive. So if you gotta go to sight and sound, some other must visit places here in Branson, you know, are uh, Dogwood Canyon. Dogwood Canyon is beautiful. Uh, it's a Johnny Morris property who, uh, Johnny Morris is the founder uh, of Bass Pro Shops, and so you've got you've got Dogwood Canyon. You know, you can take a, a tram tour. You got to reserve that sometimes even months in advance uh, in order to get that going on. But it's you know the waterfalls and the whew, the, the trails and the walking and the, you can bike it if you want to and. Ooh, it's just phenomenal. Uh, also owned by Johnny Morris, Top of the Rock, also phenomenal, stunning. You do the golf cart tour, and man, you're you're on a, a, uh, going through a cave, you know. And there's waterfalls going over, you know, covered bridges, and wow, just amazing. And of course, when you're there at Top of the Rock, don't only do the golf cart tour. Uh, get on get on the shuttle and go over to the to the, to the main area. And do and just look at all the grounds. You know, you can eat over there. Um, you know, there's there's you know just 
walk through, go to the church. You know, at night they they have kind of a closing ceremonies with with uh, uh, cannons going off or things like. It's just amazing, just just amazing. So visit Top of the Rock. I'm just I'm throwing out there. It's like, should I go to Branson? Should I visit Branson? And is this the place for me? And what would I do when I get there? Let me throw out just real quick for the sake of uh, you know, since I since I've got you. Escape code. This is our business. Amy and I own Escape Code, and uh, we just opened a uh, brand new 90-minute experience that takes up an, an entire storefront. You know, and we have two that take up an entire storefront now. One of them is called Secret Passage. That's the newest one. The other one is called The Zeros. And so you're you're 90 minutes in this experience. You know, and sometimes people are asking, you know, well, is this scary? It's not scary. It's not scary. It's you know barely edgy sometimes. But we've got little kiddos in there, and uh, mom and dad and grandma and grandpa, and so it's something that's fun for the whole family. You know, people don't have to worry about you know claustrophobia. Doors are always open. None of that. You know, so we have to dispel those those thoughts. It's like, well, I I don't think that's for me because I don't want to be locked up. You're not locked up. None of that is. That's not how it works. You can leave anytime, go make a phone call, go to the restroom, whatever you need to do. Uh, but you're immersed in, a, in an adventure. And so we wanna encourage you to come on out to Escape Code. Uh, if Amy and I are there, say hi. We would love to meet you for sure. But uh, yeah, so so man, that's that's definitely, you know, you've gotta come to Escape Code. A lot of people say it's the favorite thing they've done in Branson, which is really humbling to us. You know, let me just encourage you some other things that are going on out there you got the butterfly palace especially for the kiddos uh you know you've got a, 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 you know amazing incredible shows like the hay goods do not miss the hay goods man that is amazing smoke on the mountain we love smoke on the mountain uh but there's many 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 more shows that that you'll love even you know the presley's been around forever one of the originals they do such a great job uh, so the shows, you know, definitely for sure, you know, you want to come on out here. You go to Shepherd of the Hills, their outdoor drama, the story of Branson. Uh, they set a cabin on fire every night, every production and, uh, you know, horses and gunfights and it's it's legit. You know, it's amazing. They have other shows. We've done videos on these also uh, there at Shepherd of the Hills, just quality, top notch uh, entertainment there. And man, you know, they also have, you know, zip lining and uh, a mountain coaster there at Shepherd of the Hills too. So there's lots, a lot to do. Uh, you got the Titanic Museum. I mean, excellent, excellent uh, uh, presentation of the Titanic. Amazing. Uh, you know, you've got Wonderworks and uh, Top of the Rock at the Aquarium. So I could go on and on and I could easily go on and on and on. There's so much, you know, uh, you got great restaurants, local flavor. Check out those guys. Uh, Heroes, Florentinas. I mean, I can, there's many restaurants here. Uh, go to the Landing. Paula Deans is great. And so just on and on and on. Here I am now. Now, now I'm kicking into rambling mode because there's just so much. It's just, there's just so much here to do in Branson, Missouri. And I'm excited that we're number three. We're number three top of the top 10 trending destinations, according to TripAdvisor um, in the United States uh, for 2022. And uh, wow, how, so I, I'm guessing 2022 is gonna be a big year. Uh, I guess we better staff up at Escape Code and get ready for all sorts of people, including you, to come on out and visit us. Uh, but uh, share this video. Hey, if you would uh, my, do uh, do what my, my daughter Ella encouraged you to do, sub to TPF, it's real easy. Just click it, just click that button and then uh, turn on the notifications, it's that bell. And so that way you will know uh, every time we upload a video, we are trying, we're so busy, we're so busy. This is the down season right now, so we've got a little more time. Um, but uh, we're trying to get more episodes per week, we're trying. I would love to do it daily, I don't think we're gonna be able to do that, but uh, but but more than we have been. And so uh, we're gonna keep, we're gonna bring you more news. I was trying to decide what to do tonight. I had some cruise news and so, but I, I like this one. So I thought I'd bring this to y'all. So what have you done in Branson that should have made, you know, the list or the things that I've been sharing? Uh, what shows have you seen that are just amazing that you really love? Uh, you know, what, there's magic shows here, you know, I think of Reza and, uh, and others. And you know, what, what have you done? What about getting out on Table Rock Lake? There's something else to do and boating and skiing and tubing and that kind of stuff. And uh, how about the snowflakes? Here I go again, rambling about everything to do in Branson. So what have you done? What, what are, what, you know, your family, did you have a great time? Or, you know, maybe you've been to Gat Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge and you're wondering, 
wow, you know, there's some similarities between the two places, but I'll tell you what, there's way more differences than similarities. And we just got back from Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg. In fact, Amy and I are gonna be doing a, a video on some of our favorite things there uh, coming up soon, and we love it there. But uh, in Branson, there's a lot of different things to do, a lot of things here that you're not gonna see there. And of course, they have some things there that you're not gonna see here. But uh, there you have it. Leave some comments. What, what, what are some of your favorite destinations in the United States? Have you been to any of these places on the list? How about any of the places uh, of the top 10 in the world? Have you been there? Uh, let me know. And uh, that's it, guys. We're gonna bring you another video coming up super, super soon. So don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell. All right, safe travels, everybody. And we will see you next time.